everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcel Fontenot. And I'm Jim Hummel. Right now, people are filtering in and out of the Cajun Dome for the LHSAA Boys Basketball State Championship Semifinals. Kaylee Norman joins us live over at the Cajun Dome with details on how the event could help boost the economy in Lafayette. Kaylee. What was once known as the Top 28 Basketball Tournament is back at the Cajun Dome for since 13 years. The event that took place in 2008 brought in more than 50,000 fans. And city officials tell me that this year's event could be a major opportunity to boost revenue here in the city. I'll tell you, if you look out over the last nine months, there have not been any huge events held in this Cajun Dome, and they're likely for the next four or five months won't. Lafayette's economy has been hit hard by the pandemic with the absence of major festivities that usually bring in revenue, such as Mardi Gras and Festival International, as well as sporting events. We lost over uh, around 60,000 room nights just from the meetings and sports and convention business, not including leisure, not including concerts. So our hotels have been struggling, our restaurants have been struggling a little bit. So anytime you're able to host an event in this magnitude, you have to believe it's going to help out a little bit for the economy and for those in the hospitality industry. But Berthelot is hopeful that visitors like Brandy LeBranch, whose son is playing in the tournament for Riverside Academy, will take advantage of what the city has to offer while they're here. Well, we're going to do a little bit of shopping, go to the mall, girl stuff, eat, you know, etc. The tournament will last until Wednesday of this week. In Lafayette, I'm Kaylee Norman, KTC TV3.